Hello, welcome back to the video lectures for Introduction to Java Programming using Scala. Uh, we're moving into the next chapter on graphics, and we're going to start by talking about how we can put uh, graphics into our application. So how we can make it so that there are panels that pop up that draw the things that we want to, to have them draw. And this is essential because while the Swing GUI library has quite a few different components in it, lots of things that are helpful that are very standard, there are still times when you want to put in things that aren't part of any standard GUI library. So you need to be able to draw things yourself. Uh, one of the major areas where you can use this is if you wanted to do, for example, 2D games. Um, and so we'll, we'll build up to, to doing things that kind of resemble that in a way. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and let's create a file. Um, I'll just call it graphics.scala. We'll probably be editing it a fair bit. And I have to, in order to have the graphics, I have to have the GUI. So I'm going to go ahead and import the things that I use for my GUIs. I'm going to import swing. I'm going to import event, though I might not be using it quite yet. Um, and we'll see I need to add some additional imports in just a bit. Uh, so first off I want to create so I'm going to create a frame like we did before and I will make sure that frame gets displayed give it a little title and now what do I put into the components well, I want to put in, I'm going to go ahead and put in two things just to make it clear that the uh, panel that I'm going to build is just like any other panel. I'm going to put in a border panel here, a new border panel. And so let's go ahead and let's import border panel dot position dot underscore so I can use the short names there. Layout plus equals. Let's put in a button. We'll decide what this does a little bit later. And I want to put that on the north. And then lowercase. I want to put in, I'll call it my draw panel because it's what, I, what I'm going to be actually drawing to. And I will put it in the center. So I need to declare this as a variable. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make myself a new val. I'm going to call it draw panel. And I'm going to set it equal to a new panel. And so the panel is, is a general uh, component in the swing GUIs. And then Unlike before, I'm actually going to give my panel a body here, and it's very much like what we did with the, the mainframe. I'm just going to stick some code that I want to go inside of this panel. Now the panel already knows how to draw itself, and it does so using a method called paint. And that method takes one argument, a, uh, it's of type graphics2d, and we'll talk more about what that means in just a second. But the panel already knows how to do this, and it turns out that if you're going to tell it to do it in a different way, I have to put in another keyword here. I have to override the panel's normal paint and create my own paint. So this is when you want to make a panel draw itself, or when you want to make your own custom drawn panel, you'll make a new panel, and then inside of here you have to add an override def paint and pass it an object of type graphics 2D. Now to illustrate what we can do with this, let's go ahead and I am just going to make one call on that graphics object. I'm going to call a, a method called fillRect on it, which is short for fill rectangle. And this says to put the top left corner at 100, 100, and to make it 100 by 100 in size. This is the width and the height. And I should come down here, actually I can 
it is kind of nice to do things this way. Uh, preferred size equals new dimension. I want to make it so my panel is, say, 500 by 500. I want to make it a reasonably large panel. Now let's see if that's happy. Come over here and run it. Oop, I didn't center my frame on screen. Let's go ahead and add that so I can't forget it. Because it will look much better for you uh, so we have our do something button here, and you notice here I have a uh, just a blank area, but it has the rectangle that I drew. It is 100 pixels over from the top, it is 100 pixels down from the top, it is 100 pixels in width, and it is 100 pixels in height. So that is what we were saying right there. So this is how you can uh, set up your own very simple GUI. Uh, we'll talk in other videos about how you can add some more details into this and make it draw you know, different things in, in different ways. Uh, but this is a good starting point. So you should go ahead and uh, write some, some code like this. Uh, and then we'll come back next time and we will see what additional features we can add.